All those guys watching Abby, they're, they don't even know anything about her. They know she's sweet, smart, fun to be around, that she cares about other people. She has plans, you know? She's not gonna be a, a dancer forever. Those guys are sick. It's like Carter was sick with the stuff he said and when he... Carter's dead. Yeah, and I wish I was the one who killed him. I knew for a second that he was like he was one of those people that was watching Abby. And I wanted to fight him. I wanted to use everything you taught me to beat him down and make him pay. Well, Carter wasn't there. It was just... It's a bunch of guys watching Abby do her job. She's an idiot, but she has great taste. But you know what? Hmm. From the look on your face when you saw that portfolio, I knew she was good at what she does. And if she's going to give you the wedding that you want, then that's all that matters. What kind of wedding do you want? Whatever makes you happy. You, know, you always have an opinion about everything. Well, only about the bride. As long as she's smiling. And when I grab her hand and tell her that I want to spend the rest of my life with her, she's got to know that I believe it. She's me, right? <laughs> <laughs> you remember the first gift that I gave you? Of course, I remember that gift. You gave me a diamond tennis bracelet. Jason was there when I got it. He told me I had to give it back to you. And you tracked me down at the Port Charles Hotel. Yes, I did. And I was with some girl. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want to say, you weren't with, no. You were, that was a pretend date to try to make me jealous. But it worked. Because you, when you walked in there, you you were like so upset. Yes, that I you was. were ready to throw a tantrum. Then you said that the clasp was stuck and then you left. But I liked it. You know why? Because I, I knew that you liked the bracelet <laughs> and did. you wanted to show it off. I did. And then you told Jason to give it back to me when we didn't, you know, get married. bracelet because I kept it I used to get drunk uh, I don't know what happened I, I think I, I the bracelet disappeared but it, you know what I, I might have thrown it into the ocean but it was probably good because it's just a lot of bad memories I want to do it right this time something here for you. Hey, you do? Yes. Oh, gosh. You don't... Here. Wait. Um... You ready? <laughs> I want you to keep these things forever, you know? So how, how come you went to the club? I was telling Dad about Abby. They met at the hospital the night a bus crash, and I tried to tell Dad how special she was, because I figured sitting next to somebody in the ER doesn't exactly tell you much. And Dad uh, brought up the, the strip club he used to run. Paradise. Yeah, that's it. You ever been there? No. no it was uh, Luke's club by the time I went to work for Sonny. You know, Dad said I couldn't possibly understand what it's like to work in a strip club, and I thought, you know, yeah. He's right. I had to see it for myself. 
It makes me sick to think Abby's there every single night. I mean, does she ever say that she doesn't want to be there? No. Well, seems like it's her choice to make. You know, whatever Abby's reasons, you and I can't judge. Well, she told the mom she completely jumped the bomb. I'm more concerned with what it was like for you watching Abby dance and how much it upset you. It made me angry. It was, it was completely demeaning. It made you want to hurt someone. Yeah, that's why I got out. That's good. Michael, it's good. You're aware. You did the right thing. Now you need to decide if it's a risk worth taking again. It's her. It's Abby. What in God's name am I doing here? I'm disappointed in your job performance, Ms. McKenna. The flow of information has slowed to a trickle. I've got nothing to report. Lucky and his friends have made no progress finding you. Do they believe the late Mr. Jax was the Balkan? They aren't easily duped. Especially Lucky. And they realized it was a little too convenient that I gave them the name Jax and then I witnessed the man's demise. And then for him to turn out to be the mysterious Balkan? Well, it makes it all too easy. So they're suspicious. But they've got no leads pointing to you. You're clearly impressed with Lucky Spencer. Well, I've had to work overtime to keep his trust. And it doesn't help when you summon me with no advance warning. I mean, how do you give him a cover story? And the quickest way to lose someone's faith is to get caught in a lie. Would it trouble you to lose Lucky Spencer's faith? Well, I can't very well keep spying for you if Lucky doesn't tell me things now, can I? I sense a sentimental attachment. I'm doing my job. Mm, I'll just keep doing it. And remember, if you fail, the cost will be... Substantial. Is there any chance I can just take back what I said? Which what part are you talking because about? Brenda, Brenda is your job, and I'm, I'm not going to interfere. Look, I don't, I don't want to be doing this anymore. Okay, it just doesn't feel right for me to not... Do okay, then right just now. don't resign. That's not... Uh, look, if you did and something happened to Brenda, I know that would eat you alive, and that's the last thing that I want. I don't want you carrying that guilt, and selfishly, I don't want to carry my own. You've got nothing to feel guilty about. I... I'm trying to trust you, and I'm being insecure. No, you're not. You're just being honest. I, I, I want you to do that. I want you to tell me about things when they bother you. Really? I... I think so. Because, um... You know that brown leather jacket, the one that makes you look like Serpico? Yeah, that, that jacket's yeah, pretty Yeah, amazing. that jacket bugs me. This is a ring that I should have gotten you a long time ago. I know it's been... You know, I bought it to you for 13 years. But, uh, you know, here it is. Okay. <laughs> Will you take it from me? Sorry, I didn't do my nails. Oh, no, that's all right. This one symbolizes, uh, you know, how much I love you. And that I, I will honor you, and I will be there at the wedding. You know, I will. I will. I will be there for you, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse. This one This one will be for our wedding day. Assuming that you want it. And when you when you have this one on you, 
It will mean that we'll, you know, we will be complete. We will be together for the rest of our lives.